Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be mounting and balancing the big 35 inch tires for the shop truck, so stay tuned. So one of the things that we are going to do is we are going to put some tire pressure monitor sensors in these wheels simply because I don't like having that light on and in the Fords the light will ding at you a little bit. Uh, so these are by Schrader Performance and uh, we're going to get those installed. And one thing I like about these sensors is that they're not big and bulky. They do have a rubber, rubber core so you can just pull them through like a regular valve stem. thing we will do is we will remove the core because that allows more air into the tire when pumping it up. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put some goop on this uh, on this bead here. Help seal that tire up there good when we're putting air into it. And even though these are new wheels and new tires Sometimes people won't even bother putting this goop on here, but I don't like taking that chance to get that tire, especially these great big ones having to manhandle them. And then we're going to take our tire soap and I'll lube that sucker up real good. And see if we can't make a mess of this. So I gotta move you guys because you're in the wrong spot. Well guys, we've got one down, three more to go, and a long ways to get there. We still got lots of sanding to do on that powder coating. But I just had an idea. Here we go. What do you guys think? Should we lift this Toyota Yaris and put 35s on it too? Let me know in the comment section down below. So folks, something I don't talk about a whole lot is uh, my responsibilities in the town of St. Stephen as a counselor. And uh, the only reason why I wanna bring this topic up is because I'd like to know what your opinion is. You see, in the last few years here in St. Stephen, there has been a rat problem. This is the exterminator you called for your rat problem. Uh, we live on tidal water, so the tide comes in and out and uh, you know, Rats are making it into people's property and into their homes. Rats. I want to know what you guys think is a solution to getting rid of a community-wide rat problem. Get rid of it. And uh, leave your comments down in the comment section below because as a counselor, I have to be informed by people's opinion, by people's facts, by every situation that somebody may have of rats being an issue either in their home or on their property. So sometimes by reaching out to people in different communities who may have had to deal with in the past may give me some insight to bring to the council table. So guys, please leave those suggestions down below. Let me know what problems you may have had. Bill Cosby. How you dealt with them. Guilty, 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 guilty. And whose responsibility ultimately it may be to deal with a rat issue in your community. It's the beard. So I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say. So guys, it's Thursday morning and we are back out on the lot and I wanted to give you this week's update on some new vehicles that have recently come into our possession. Yes, we're still buying. So we have ourselves yet again another 
Hyundai Elantra. This is a 2014 GLS. It's got 112,000 kilometers on it. Uh, really nice car in really good shape, very clean, and it's blue. Not gray, not black, not white, blue. We've also got this 2011 Chevy Cruze. It's an LT 1.4 turbo, 130,000 miles on this one. We also have a Kia Soul. We have not had a Kia Soul on the lot in a while. This Kia Soul is a 2010, and I believe 130,000 kilometers on this one as well. It is a five-speed manual, but it is dressed up really nice with uh, power windows, locks, uh, air conditioning. And I think that's just about it on that one. Uh, everything that we bought had really good mileage on it. There's five different pieces I think we bought all together. Here is a 2010 Dodge Journey. It is a front wheel drive, four cylinder, five passenger with, I believe again, 130 something thousand kilometers. The goal with this last trip to the auction was simply to be able to buy a bunch of vehicles that we could sell cheaper, like under 10, maybe even under 7,000 bucks. With the exception of the 2014 Hyundai Elantra, we did just that. And as we come inside here, you guys have all seen the 2014 Chevy Sonic. Uh, we did get the new grill uh, piece put in and the bumper touched up there. And uh, Junior had it in yesterday and got a few spots shampooed out of the seats. The other one that we got at the auction was this 2009 Kia Rio. This is just an LX model, but it does have air conditioning, I believe it's automatic. And uh, it's in really, really good condition for a 2009 and it's only got 141,000 kilometers on it. So this Kia Rio makes the number five from this past trip to the auction. And if I do the math correctly, probably somewhere in the vicinity of about number 12 or 14 that we've had over the last just couple of weeks. And as you can tell, just by looking around the lot, we have a ton of vehicles on the lot. This is probably the first time in over a year that we have had this many vehicles for sale at one time. Now remember, 2018 was a really bad year for sales and we kept our inventory low. Why? Well, we didn't know where that next sale was gonna come from, so we banked our money. And now that things are really good, business has picked up, it's the spring of the year and the good weather is coming, it's time to bring our inventory up to record levels. And right now I believe we're sitting on somewhere pretty close to 30 units. They're not all out front yet, but by the time we get them here and get them ready, we'll have a lot of inventory. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube men. And as always, everything that we sell on the lot comes with a 90 day, 3000 kilometer warranty. So don't be afraid to come in, take a look, see what we have. Even this 2008 Yaris is gonna come with a 90 day warranty. So rest assured you can buy with confidence here at Old Car Auto Sales. And one other thing guys about being in the automotive business in a small town is you get to know all the hot rodders in your area. Take a look at this 56 Mercury pickup. And you guys have probably seen this in the video in the past. This is a truck that my dad built in between the 37 Chev and the 36 Dodge. And it's changed a little bit since dad had it. When dad had it, it had a red uh, grill and bumper. It was all monochrome. The same wheels, of course, those wheels are a little bit dated today, uh, but uh, they were in about 15 years ago or 10 years ago, 12 years ago, I guess, when he originally built the truck. And uh, back here, he's got the tailgate and the chrome bumper again. The chrome bumper was not there back in the day. Those are the boards that my dad milled and painted himself. And uh, as we roll back around here, we relocated or he relocated the fuel tank in between the frame rails and the back, custom built uh, and got rid of it from in behind the seat. So this is a really, really nice truck. Again, some of you Ford lovers are gonna hate the fact that it does have a small block Chevy underneath the hood. But one thing that this gentleman did do a few years ago was he hooked up a small travel trailer in behind it and traveled clear across Canada and back again with a bunch of other guys doing the exact same thing. There it is. So guys, that is all I have for you for this episode. Keep in mind that this video is being sponsored by Sussex Beard Oil and you can check out their link right here 
And if you go there and you want to buy some beard oil for your beard, you can get a free travel size just by entering in the promo code GLOVEBOX. Remember though, you got to put both of them in your cart, enter in the promo code, and that travel size will become free. Also guys, there's five links in the description box below. I hope you take a look at each and every one of those and know that those are other ways that you can support my channel rather than just watching these videos. And the first one being my Bonfire account where you can get your very own Old Car Auto Guy t-shirt and or hoodie. Go down there and check them out please and see if there's something that you like. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you, God bless. Let's do it again in the next video. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. Treat you like your heaven. You thought that I knew better. Keep falling for your innocence. Acting like you're into me. I know this is hopeless. Moving in slow motion. Trying to control my thoughts. But I can't stop our box talk. This is a no-brainer.